the concept of emergence is not so hard today as it would have been even 10 years ago. And why I say that is because there's some very solid research on how the physical environment of a learning space has an impact on the academic outcomes of kids, literacy and numeracy outcomes. A wonderful piece of research that was done in the UK where they looked at something like 3,000 students across a number of schools in different areas of the UK. And what they did was they examined different features of the physical environment, from the light to the visual displays in the room, to the way the furniture was, um, and so on. And they've got very clear, like 16% effect size or effect on the learning outcomes of students that were in classrooms that were designed well, uh, physically. And so that's a really important piece of research to take control of because if I go into a lot of primary classrooms, I see sort of like a lot of visual stuff, sometimes very, very busy. And some teachers say, well, I like it like that and it's honouring each kid. Well, actually, if you follow the research through, it says it needs to be in moderation and it needs to be quite purposeful. So there's a display over there and its purpose is to show this bit of work and it's got quite good commentary on what that learning was about and why I learnt that and or having resources visually displayed. All of those things really important, but not just every kid's work for the sake of every kid's work. So that bit of research is really powerful and I encourage all teachers to access the resource and have a look at that. Thinking about the idea, like when I started doing some of this work, one of the things that was really hard was because we were designing new things, you couldn't do research on it because they hadn't been designed. Really what I can now say though, if I look at the schools where they've looked at all the aspects of this complex system that is teaching, it's leading, it's learning, it's spaces, if you look at all that complexity of that system and you look at the schools that are paying attention to every aspect of that, and over time, but they don't do it all at once, but they're paying attention to it always with the thing, how is this helping learning, the teacher's learning or the student's learning. What you find now is that their academic results are going through the roof. And not only that, I mean, there are a number of schools, and I won't cite them here because there are probably others I'll miss out, but there, there'll be some site, you could put some things up on your site that would show some of the research that's going on in those schools, which show that the academic results are improving. But in addition to that, what's also happening is that their capabilities or their key competencies are also growing and developing. And so that's the results plus we think we're looking at. And there is, there is plenty of evidence now that that's the case. But it's not saying modern learning environments improve learning. That's too simple. It's actually about are all the different aspects of the design of the school working together to make learning better for each child.